you know, you know, Ed, you got to get your mind out of the gutter. Right? You know, you, you, you just got to start thinking straight. I mean, it's right there in front of you. It wasn't an automobile. I mean, it was a fully loaded Lexus. Damn car had everything, had everything. Didn't it happy? It was fully loaded, wasn't it? You know, the damn thing of it is, Ed, that, you know, Neon, he, he, he didn't want it. He didn't want the car. He didn't want it. He didn't ask for anything. But, you know, he wasn't for sale. But we got it for him anyway. I mean, and I think personally it would have been a hell of a deal. I mean, a good price. What did, what did Neon do tonight? Does anybody know? How many boards did Neon have? Thirteen. Thirteen boards. Well, there you are. Would have been a hell of a deal. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what Neon would have done if we'd have tried to give him a Ferrari? I mean, he might have scored 40 or 50 points. I mean, who knows? Who knows what he'd have done for a Ferrari? Nah, you know, Neon, he, he didn't take anything. He didn't want anything. Some of the others did. Didn't they, Happy? What? What are some of the other kids? Uh, what'd we give them? What? Cars? Tractors? Gave a kid a tractor? Another kid we gave a house? Didn't we give him a house? You know, big bags of cash? I don't know what we gave these kids. You know, they asked for things, we gave it to them. I mean, you guys asked me to win, I gave that to you, right? And the alumni, they're all jerking off over this win, which is the only time the alumni ever jerk off, right? It's when we win. Because this ain't about education. It ain't about winning, and it sure as hell ain't about basketball. It's about money. Just money. That's what it's about, Ed. And I bought into it. I bought into it big time. I'm a big part of the problem. There goes Happy. Heading for the cash machine. Oh, yeah. He's going to get himself another linebacker. That guy's got the best player's money can buy. The best player's money can buy. You know, I'll tell you something else. You know, someplace, someplace in America right now, there's some 10-year-old kid. He's out there on that playground. He's playing. He's dribbling between his legs, going left, going right, already above the rim, stuffing at home. You know, you know what's going to happen to this kid? Five minutes from now, he's going to be surrounded by agents, corporate sponsors, and coaches, you know, people like me, just drooling over this kid because he holds our future employment in his hands. I mean, that's what we made this game. That's what we've done. You know, the best coaching job I ever did wasn't tonight. It was last season. You know, when we were 14 and 15 and we had a losing season. But damn it, those kids, they gave me their hearts. They gave me everything they had. They played up to their maximum of their ability. They gave it everything. You know, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough for me. It wasn't good enough for you. It wasn't good enough for anybody. That's pathetic. I mean, that's really pathetic. I've become what I despise. You know, I cheated my profession. I cheated myself. I cheated basketball. There's two words I didn't think ever come out of my mouth. I didn't think I'd ever be able to say them. I quit.